we're going to evaluate some hyperbolic trig functions. The way you pronounce these, this is a cosecant, but because of the H, you say cosh. Uh-oh, that was fantastic. There we go. We are right here. Okay. So you say cosh, and uh, the other ones start sounding funny, like cinch and tanch and cotanch. Anyways, you don't need to pronounce them. You just need to write them with an H at the end. That's fine. Now, what in the world do these mean? Well, hopefully you saw the textbook and the definition. We're in 2.9. So here's the textbook. We're going to go on to 2.9. And we have the definition of cinch and cosh right here. So it's e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2. That is cinch x and cosh x e x plus e negative x over 2. Now you can look in the your book, but it's not going to tell you cosecant hyperbolic or secant hyperbolic or tangent hyperbolic or cotangent hyperbolic. However, they're all related the way the regular trig functions are related. So what that means is we want cosecant. So remember back to regular trig when the h wasn't around. Cosecant is 1 over sine. So what that means is cosecant hyperbolic is 1 over sine hyperbolic. Uh, just remember, just like in the trig world, those four letters are one function. And one thing you can do to, is wrap your x in a parenthesis. It's a very reasonable thing to do. So maybe, well, I'll forget that in two seconds. But you can certainly wrap your x in parentheses. Okay, so that is the reciprocal of what you see right here. Let me just double check. I have a doubt. Okay, so cinch is minus. Okay, cosh is plus. Good. So I didn't mess that up. That's great. Okay, so we got 1 over cinch. It's the reciprocal of this exponential here on the left. So it's 2 divided by e to the x minus e to the minus x. Okay. So that's cosecant hyperbolic. So now we're ready to start on this problem. Cosecant hyperbolic of negative 2. All you're going to do, wherever you see an x, is you're going to replace it with a negative 2. And so we got 2 over e to the negative 2 minus e to the positive 2. All right, so that is, uh, we want to round our, our answers. So if we need to actually type a numerical answer, uh, we can put these into any calculator that has exponential functions and figure out what they are. Uh, I don't want to take out a calculator and do that here, but it's pretty easy to compute that. Uh, and then that will go right there. Uh, now the second part says give an exact answer. Uh, we are putting in a different value here. So it's similar, still cosecant hyperbolic of ln of 1. Now ln of 1 is 0, but I'm not going to take advantage of that here. I'm going to leave it as ln of 1. Uh, right. Recall ln 1 is 0, because uh, there's a good chance you're going to have ln of 2 or 3 or 4 or some other number, so I don't want to just reduce it down to 0 right away. You'll see what will happen very soon here. Uh, so we're going to do the same definition we did uh, that I just removed from the screen right there at the top. So we're going to use this definition. So we have e, now it's e to the ln of x minus e to the minus ln of x. Okay, so there's another uh, exponential rule we need to re remember. Hopefully you remember this one. Uh, e to the ln of x equals x. Basically, the exponential and log function cancel each other and give you just x. So that's happening exactly right here. I don't know why I'm writing x instead of 1. I probably said right something different. Come on. So that e to the ln of 1 is just 1, cancels out. 
All right, how do we deal with this? There's a couple ways to deal with that. Uh, one of them is I could write it as uh, 1 over e to the positive ln of 1 because that's what a negative does. It reciprocates. Uh, there's another rule that you can use, which is a ln of x equals ln of x to the a power. And you might be thinking, well, there's a negative out front. That's fine. That negative means negative 1 times ln of x, which is ln of x to the negative first. I'm probably showing you too many, too many things at once, but we'll just keep going the first way. So this e to the ln right here cancels and to 1 which of course is 2 over 1 minus 1. Uh, now we have a slight problem. That is what we call undefined, which I believe is un D how do we write undefined. DNE, I think, is how we're going to enter that. It does not exist. There's no such answer. Uh, if we went the other way I alluded to, where we use the exponential, we're going to move that negative up here as a power. So the first one reduces minus e to the ln of 1 to the negative first power. 1 to the negative first power is 1. And e to the ln cancels. So we get 2 over 0, which of course still does not exist. All right, there we go.